435. Calculate the concentration of the phosphate ion, PO4 through minus, when Ag3PO4 starts to precipitate from a solution that is 0.0125 molarity in Ag+. Okay, so they gave us a compound, Ag3PO4. They're talking about precipitation, so we know we're dealing with solubilities. So I had to go into the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility is of Ag3PO4. It's 1.8 times 10 to the negative 18th. Now, we can only use this value when we know that we're at equilibrium and we have a saturated solution. Saturated solutions are solutions that basically are just at the beginning of making a solid, right? They're like the cusp of forming a solid in your solution. But if you have way too much solid in your solution that didn't dissolve, that's not a saturated solution. That's above saturation. That's a super saturated solution. But here they gave us the key term that we're starting to precipitate. We're starting to make a solid. That's a saturated solution. So I can use this KSP. Now, what is a KSP without a balanced equation? It's nothing. So let's write out the equation. Always start with the solid, uh, silver 3 phosphate. And now, well, in this case, right, silver 3 phosphate. That's not the name of the compound. The name of the compound is just silver phosphate. Um, this is a solid. This yields, double arrow, equilibrium, into its two ions. They told me that it was Ag+. So Ag+, that's aqueous because it's a charge. And then the phosphate ion, PO4, 3 minus. That's also aqueous. Let's just make sure that this is balanced. I have three silvers, so I do have to put a three in front of the Ag, and now we are balanced. Now I'm just gonna put the numbers that they gave me. They told us that we have 0.0125 molarity of the Ag. So right under the Ag, I'm just gonna say I have 0.0125 molarity. Don't get tempted to times this number by three because you see a three in the balanced equation. As many Ag molecules and ions that you have, this is the total concentration. You don't have any more. So I can't just take this number and say, okay, I'm going to triple it. And now I have triple the amount of concentration. So they're taking into account of all of the Ag plus ions that are in the solution. The total molarity is 0 0.0125 molarity. And we want to solve for the other concentration of the phosphate. I don't know it, so I'm just going to label it as X. Now I'm going to use my KSP equation, which is this one right here, right? It's just equal to the products raised to the coefficients. So let's just make our KSP equation. KSP equals the concentration of Ag plus times the concentration of PO4 three minus. And now let's just watch out for those coefficients. I notice that I have a three in front of the silver, so I have to take the silver and raise it to the third power. I can raise the phosphate to the first, but you don't have to do that. Now let's see, the Ag value is 0 0.0125, the phosphate was the X value, and the KSP that we got from the back of the textbook is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 18th. Let's plug it in, 1.8, times 10 to the negative 18th equals 0 0.0125, that's cubed, and then times by x. Let's do this first, the cubing. So 0 0.0125 cubed. I get a big, big number. I don't want to really round here, so maybe I can just divide on both sides, just to show you guys that I'm going to just divide by that whole number, right? 0 0.0125. This whole thing is cubed. This will get rid of this value, and we're just left with x. So let's see what's going on here. 1.8 times 10 to the negative 18th divided by that number. OK. And three sig figs, so 9.22 times 10 to the negative 13th. And that's molarity. 
So now just go back. We want to find out the concentration of the phosphate. The phosphate ion was just X. And X was 9.22 times 10 to the negative 13th. Molarity. And we're done. That's the answer. Okie dokie. What'd you think? I really hope this is helping you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to be talking to you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.